guys welcome to my channel how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well today i've got an unboxing of sorts um i've been sent a few products by a makeup brand they contacted me via email um quite a while ago and said would i like to try a few things and i have had some stuff from them before that i've purchased from aliexpress and wish um that might give you a clue to the brand uh, i'm not sure if i'm saying it right but it's foc allure foc allure Folklore. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, they're cruelty-free and fast fashion makeup brand. Um, and that's what they say. And they messaged me and said, would I like to try a few bits? So they sent me some bits. They arrived last week. Um, and I'm just going to get in and do it. They have said they will give me a discount code. I haven't heard back from them yet. But if I've got that discount code for you guys, I will put it um, on the screen. And I've got no idea what they've sent me. I know it's an eyeshadow and I know it's lipstick and that's all I know. Um, so, yeah. This is how it comes. It's really well packaged. So we've got one eyeshadow palette and four liquid lipsticks. Let's do the eyeshadow palette first. This is the Sunrise Impressionism palette. Let me cut off the plastic and you should be able to see better because it's a bit of a reflection at the moment and Anya yeah, if you're watching my dinosaur tooth is just up there I'm being very lazy and can't be bothered to stand up and get it which is why I use the scissors but I do use it a lot so let's have a look doesn't want to come out it's really pretty packaging if I can get it to come out. Oh, there's more packaging. It's all cardboard. Okay. Oh, it's really pretty. Wow. Really pretty. My goodness. I will swatch all of these. I will just get a flannel to wipe off in between. That is really pretty. It's a bit of me, those colours. I can get this plastic off so pretty and a really nice big mirror with a little I'll find out the prices for these and put them all on the screen for you I'm just gonna go and get a flannel and then we're gonna do some swatching okay I will I'll swatch them down my arm here so um, I'll go along the top row we've got pure nude which looks like a real pale dusty pink champagne which is one of the two-toned ones Himalayan orange which looks like the perfect colour and then pop of copper so pure nude which unsurprisingly looks like my skin tone oh that's pretty champagne Himalayan orange which is gorgeous look at that and then pop of copper look at those I'm really impressed with them look at that okay next row we've got give me mocha which again looks like kind of like a nude taupey brown pinwheel galaxy which is another two-toned one Punch pink, which looks like a kind of mauvey pink, and then marigold, which looks like a most gorgeous orange, shimmery orange. So, give me mocha, pinwheel galaxy, punch pink, oh, that's pretty, and then marigold. Oh my god, marigold is gorgeous. The next row, we've got terracotta, which looks like terracotta, but it's kind of like got a shimmer to it. Tenderly light, which looks like a nude mauve, sort of lighter than punch pink. Steampunk, which feels just like straight up glitter. And latte, please, which looks like a nude brown, but it does look like it's got some flecks of glitter in it. So, terracotta. <coughs> um, tenderly light. Steam pink. No, steam punk. That one is just glitter, but it's a really nice glitter. And then latte, please. Look at them. Look at that one. Wow, that is ridiculous. Oh, I kind of want to just put eyeshadow on now. I haven't worn eyeshadow for ages. I kind of want to just put it over my face right now. This little one here called Limitless had another extra sticker over it and it looks like a cream. So let's just have a little... Yeah, this one's a cream. Ooh, it's like a champagne cream. Sparkling Rose, which is one of the... Oh, just glitter ones. Chocolate Martini, which looks like a really good and nice transition colour. And then Lavender Field, which looks like a very deep plum. And I'm just going to do these up this end. So this is the cream. Oh, it's like a champagne highlighter. And then we've got Sparkling Rose, which is just glitter. But again, a really pretty glitter. It's reflective like with the gold. Chocolate Martini. And then Lavender Field. So that is the palette. They are so pretty. I'm so impressed with these glitters. They're so nice. Okay. The glitter did not want to come off my arm. 
it's just all sparkly now but that's fine um let's move on to the lipsticks we've got four i think they're liquid lipsticks and they are the package is really cool it says top secret and i've got the colors uh vo3 vo6 vo7 and vo8 which is who's next you're so hot passionate and flirt i will swatch all these now on my lips i'm gonna get them all open and then we're gonna swatch them all right they're all open so let's just get into them and see what they're like inside oh i like the packaging it's kind of like frosted um really simple it's a bit like huda to be honest so let's just swatch this one on my hand first oh that's pretty more of a these are more winter colors i feel this is who's next and it smells like sweets that's that one uh, this one is you so hot and it is you not your you so hot and this is vo6 oh this one's pretty that is a really deep red definitely not a summer color but really really nice again smells like sweets smells really nice get out this is passionate v07 so it's, like it's gonna be a plum yeah kind of like a plum brown I want to see how long they take to dry down. I'm assuming they'll dry down. Velvet liquid lips for a plump, smooth lips. They have a soft, melting texture that leaves lips matte, smooth, and soft as velvet. The soft formula that melts upon application and delicately tings lips with a petal like colour to complete a natural gradient lip look this long wearing ultra pigmented liquid lipstick contains moisturizing ingredients that make it be creamy matte and oh, and it does not dry down oh that's good because i don't i prefer lipsticks that don't dry down because i feel like it makes my lips feel really dry when they are and this is kind of like a terracotta as well this one is called flirt so that is the four colors um i like all of them but I think I'm most drawn to the red. I have changed my mind about swatching all of them on my lips just because they are quite sore today. So I'm just going to put one on and then I'll wear it and see how it wears over the next couple of hours. Um, I think the one I'm going to wear today though is the lightest one. I feel like this is more of a, this is like probably the most summery out of the colours. Um, this is who's next. So I'm going to wipe this off and then we'll put this on. I'm not sure what's just happened, but I've just dipped it and it's just like exploded out of the out of the pot for some reason. It's weird. But it feels really nice on my lips. I really like the colour. It's currently 10 to 2 in the afternoon, so I will leave this on. I'll come back in about 10 or 15 minutes and see if it has dried down at all. Um, but for now, it feels quite comfortable. I am just going to message them and find out why. I wonder if any of the other ones would do it as well. Yeah, that one has as well. What is going on? What is going on? They were weird a minute ago. You guys saw that. What is going on? It's because the, the plastic bit inside keeps popping out. That's what it is. Look. Can you see this? Look. That lid keeps popping out. I don't know whether it's because it's hot or what, but that is gross so 
these plastic bits keep popping out that's very strange i've never had that happen with a lipstick before um yeah i'll message them and see what they say about that it has been about 15 minutes since i put this lipstick on i really like how it looks i feel like it is a really nice color i would definitely wear this in the summer it's not as dark as it looked on my hand um it hasn't dried down at all it's really comfortable so i'm just going to carry on wearing it and i'll give you an update again in a few hours it is about i don't think it's about half past five so it's three and a half hours since i put this lipstick on i haven't reapplied it at all i really really like it it has come off on my straw while i'm drinking but you can see it still looks really really nice still really comfortable i can't fault it i have emailed them about the packaging coming undone but i haven't heard back yet but i will um update you guys in the description box about that but the color and the formula i absolutely love it so yeah it's a great big fat thumbs up um and there's a dog barking so i'm gonna go but yeah i'll talk to you later Hiya. So it's the next day from all opening all of the um, Focalor makeup and I heard back regarding the how the tubes kind of popped open and she said it must be something to do with the heat and if for some reason you purchased the lipstick and the same thing happened they would just resend you a new set. Um, they've also given me a 15% off discount code which is just Lucy so I'll put that on the screen. Um, but yeah that's everything you need to know they um they've said they've never experienced that before with the lipsticks so i don't know whether it was maybe like because i'm assuming it came airmail so like pressure and heat i don't know um but they've said not to worry and if it happens with anyone else's they will just replace for free so yeah thank you to them for sending me the goodies the lipstick wore so nicely like i think i filmed the little clip before was like five hours after and it was still really nice and then i literally took it off at bedtime and it was so comfortable it's one of the most comfortable liquid lipsticks i've ever worn i don't know if they're all like that um i will update in the description box as i wear them but the first one that i wore cannot fault it i absolutely loved it so it is definitely going to be a firm favorite in my makeup collection so yeah if you like these kind of videos please do give this one a thumbs up you should definitely subscribe to my channel for more fun stuff to come thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon bye guys